Welcome back to the Forex Lounge Fundamental Extras. Today is Tuesday, July 13, 2010. Welcome back, one and all. Great that you could join us. Two big pieces of news that reported today on Bloomberg.com. UK inflation slowed less than economists forecast in June as higher costs of goods from fuel to food kept the rate of price increases above the government's 3% limit. Consumer prices rose 3.2% from a year earlier. Compared with 3.4% in May, the Office for National Statistics said today in London, the economists predicted 3.1%, according to the media of 27 forecasts in a Bloomberg News survey. So, although it was above expectations, UK inflation year over year still showed a little bit of a decline. In more news as well, German investor confidence declined for a third month in July as Europe's debt crisis threatens to cripple economic growth and banks undergo stress tests to prove their durability. The Zoo Center for European Economic Research said today its index of investor and analyst expectations, which aims to predict developments in six months ahead, fell to a 15-month low of 21.2 from 28.7 in June. Economists had forecasts to drop to 25.3, according to the meaning of 34 forecasts in a Bloomberg News survey. So it was a decline, a 15-month low, and below analyst expectations. Now, getting to the chart to see what this looks like. First line, first chart shows us a blue line that's UK CPI, Consumer Price Index, again dropping to 3.2 from the previous months of 3.4%, although the expectation was 3.1%. So it's a little bit better than expectations, but still a decline. The violet line represents a 12-month moving average. We are still above the 12-month moving average, but at the moment, the direction is to the downside. Compare now UK CPI, that's the violet line, to the FTSE, that's the equity index, a stock average in the UK. And we can see, generally speaking, when the zoo tends to do well, the FTSE tends to rally as well. When inflation slows, then we see the FTSE uh, fall to the downside as well. So today's report uh, on the UK uh, CPI certainly is not bear, uh, bullish, quite bearish for the FTSE, at least in the short term. UK CPI, we compare now to the Bank of England historical interest rates during prosperous times when the uh, CPI tends to rally, well, we also see the Bank of England raise rates. However, when CPI drops, Bank of England tends to cut rates. This takes uh, the fuel away from the argument to raise rates, at least on the short term. And compare UK CPI, that is the blue line to the pound dollar currency pair. Of course, there are two currencies within a pair. However, generally speaking, when a CPI rises year over year, that in increases the possibility that Bank of England will raise rates, and therefore we see a strong pound. So lower, uh, higher than expected, but still a decline in the CPI does not bode well logically in terms of uh, strength in the pound currency. Although today, it is at least in the short term rallying possibly due to the fact that it was above expectations. Now, remember the zoo number in uh, the Eurozone, the German investor confidence number, fell to a 15-month low of 21.2. The previous report was uh, 28.7. Going back to levels that we have not seen here, uh, May of 2009, also well below the 12-month moving average, certainly is showing a decline in German investor confidence. Compare now the zoo to the euro dollar currency pair. The euro dollar is a blue line. Generally speaking, during prosperous times when the zoo investor confidence number rises, we tend to see strength in the euro dollar. And when it declines, so does the euro dollar. We can also compare the zoo, that's the light blue line, again dropping to 21.2 today. And generally speaking, there's also a pretty positive correlation between the green line, that's Kakaron 40, that's the uh, equity market in France, and the DAX, the dark blue line in Germany. So above expectations, but still a decline on UK CPI and the Eurozone Zoo German and uh, investor confidence figures, both showing a decline. And therefore, logically, we would expect this not to bode well for immediate strength in either currency. We hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, email us anytime, info at forexlounge.com. We thank you for joining us. We wish you a great day. All profitable trades. And we look forward to seeing you back soon. Back inside the Forex Lounge.